Hey, this is Steven, the vegan pet man, and today is an exciting day because I'm about to go to Danbury, Connecticut to adopt a new little dog from Companion Pet Rescue, great organization. So I'm going to take you on the ride and we're going to go see the transport vehicle and just experience the whole thing together. So I'll see you on the road. Okay, so here we go. Um, it says an hour and 34 minutes to Danbury, Connecticut for the pickup point. Hopefully I don't hit any traffic and uh, this will be a smooth trip. Okay, so I'm on the Long Island Expressway. Uh, headed, of course, to Danbury, Connecticut to pick up this cute little rescue dog. And it's a beautiful day. Got a little Billy Idol playing in the background. I should make it to Danbury, Connecticut in about an hour. Well, here we are in um, Danbury, Connecticut, getting ready to rescue a little dog or adopt a little dog. And we're waiting for the transport. But in the meantime, I just want to show some of the things that I brought because when you're doing a, a adoption and you're traveling to go get it from a transport, you want to make sure you bring certain things. Now, of course, first and foremost is you want to bring a carrier. And this is the multifunction pet carrier. I actually sell it at Big Apple Pet Supply. Since I'm the owner of Big Apple Pet Supply, it makes it a little easier for me to get all the stuff that I need. But you can too. So this carrier is great. Small enough for a puppy, obviously, but there's a number of things that you want to bring, okay? Trash bags, in case they make a mess or you've got to clean them up. You always want to trash bags. Now, I brought a whole box. Maybe you don't need a whole box. Maybe you just need a couple of bags, but the bottom line is bring some trash bags. Um, you're going to laugh, but I brought a second shirt because if the little dog that you're rescuing, like this little dog that I'm picking up today, if she makes a mess on my shirt, I've got to travel two, two hours home with maybe some stuff on my shirt that I don't want. So just in case I brought the extra shirt. Now, um, you don't have to bring a whole thing of training pads, but I did. So I'm going to put these training pads and line them in the carrier in case she goes to the bathroom by accident during the trip home we've got training pads to absorb it. So that's always a good thing. And then of course, wipes. To wipe her down in case she goes to the bathroom, to wipe my hands, that kind of thing. Um, wipes is always a good thing to have on hand. And you know, the transport is not gonna supply you with things like collars and leashes, so you need to make sure that you bring a collar and leash, nor do they, tra nor do they give you anything like this, a carrier. So these are the basic things that you'll want to bring. And soon the transport will be here from um, Companion Pet Rescue. I'm very, very excited. So see you in a few minutes when the transport arrives. So here we go, folks. The wonderful Companion Pet Rescue transport vehicle is here. We're going to go ahead and take a look inside in a few minutes. But they just arrived, so it's getting more and more exciting by the moment. So here we go, guys. This is the moment. We're going to get the rescue out of it. Oh, you know, there are your folks. There's Moogie. See, everyone? Here's Moogie. So we're going to take a little trip inside the, the vehicle. We're heading inside the, the vehicle of the CPR vehicle, the transport. That's and John. you are? That's John. John, and you are? Cole. Cole. What Cole. is it? Cole? Cole. Wonderful. Okay, guys. So this is it. This is where all the magic happens. These get transported from Tennessee. Um, most of the dogs, as you can see, have already been taken. So um, they go from Tennessee all the way to different points of Connecticut and New Jersey. And um, this rescue organization rescues about 240 dogs a month. They actually adopt out, which is incredible. So we're going to go ahead and head home with our new little rescue. And there'll be a very excited little 10-year-old girl at home. She's safe and secured into the car. Uh, you should always have a unit that can actually be secured in the car, unless you're using a crate in an SUV or something like that. So after a long journey with Moogie from Danbury, Connecticut, 
We're finally about to go into our street and go down our street for her new home. And I'm sure there's going to be a little girl waiting for her, very, very excited. And this is part of the adoption process with a family is that you're welcoming your new pet into a family. So here we go. We have moments until my daughter is home and she's going to meet her little dog. <laughs> she's beautiful! Mom! She's so cute! I just want to have a, a big thank you to Companion Pet Rescue um, for everything they do. They were incredible. Uh, the guys on the transport were amazing today. The transport itself was awesome. The whole procedure working with CPR was just incredible. You guys are awesome. A big thank you to Danielle and Molly who run this incredible organization. You guys rock. Um, we thank you. So, uh, we're going to say goodbye now for the day, and, and again, thank you so much. We love her. Sarah loves her. I love her. Don't you? Isn't yes, she wonderful? Yes, she's wonderful. I love her. Bye. This Bye. is Vegan Pet Man signing off. And reminding, vegetarian girl. And veggie girl <laughs> signing off, reminding everybody, save a life, adopt your next furry companion.